There are two ways of reading data from Excel into PowerSim. This video will show the simplest way of doing that. As you know, this cell B2 can be moved within Excel by pointing in the upper left corner and moving it around, like here for instance. Alternatively to moving it internally inside Excel, you can move it into another application. That's a feature in Excel that we are utilizing in PowerSim Studio. If I drag the cell in here, then you see Parasim is creating a new variable containing a function called Excel data. This function will then contain the path to the Excel workbook. In this case, they are located on the same directory, so I can delete that one. It also contains the sheet I dragged it from and the cell reference. This is how Excel reports it. I may replace it with B2 if I want to do that. I still read the value 24, as you saw in the Excel workbook. You see this value is now being read into PowerSim, but only each time you are resetting the model. So if I change this now to 26, for instance, you see it's still 24 here until I press the reset button. Then it reads a value. If I want to read several values, I can simply put a dimension here, 1 to 2 for instance, then you see the value coming in is not only 1, but we have two values, 26 and 12, as you see here. If I make it two-dimensional, I can for instance read three values in the other direction, then you see it reads all the values. It's very easy to read values from Excel into PowerSim using this method. Thank you for watching.